Okay, so I said 30 minutes, but it's been more like an hour and 30 because I was hungry. I got lazy, I watched a TV show, and I was also thinking that it's been a while since I deep conditioned, so we just gonna let this, we're gonna let it marinate. Now it's time to wash it out. I'm gonna come back, wash it out, and ready to finish this wash and go. It's supposed to be like a one product, styling product, but I got a lot of hair. My hair is really thick. We're not doing that, so I'm gonna do it this way. Um, but and like normally like the curl gel and the leave-in is like my holy grail why i did it before was with the leave-in and with um the mousse I did this combo and i thought it wasn't gonna work but it actually worked out okay for me but i like to have a cast on my hair so that it lasts longer like i can make the cast softer but my hair starting that way is gonna last longer so instead i'm going to do the leave-in i'm gonna put this mousse on then we go with my old faithful wet line extreme. Gets it done for me every single time. Go ahead and well, it's nice and detangled. So that's fun. Create me a big old afro. Go ahead and section. My back is thick, like I can't never really just do four. It's usually like six because there's so much in the back. So now that we got to that, go ahead and put my towel back around me. All right, so I'm gonna spray. Start the leave-in. Add some mousse. I need a one pump, but left it for here now. Then we're gonna add my favorite finisher, which is the Wet Line Extreme, because it's gonna give me the pass. I'm gonna make sure everything is combed out with my little detangler. Guess I'm gonna shingle a little bit. Finish the rest, um, it's the same thing. I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'll be back when I get to the top. All right, so we're at the end, the front. Got the whole concoction on there. Um, I have grown my hair long enough in the front to do a little bang. I'm shingling because of all this work, I want some definition. And I also like want my wash and go to like last and I'm just I'm not a frizz girl so like I said earlier pattern came out with the blow dryer I usually will let my hair air dry and then I'll stretch it in the morning but because I want to know if this $200 blow dryer is worth it what I am going to do is I'm going to like let it sit for like 20 minutes and like let it settle in and then I'm gonna diffuse and see how it looks because I want to be able to compare like did this blow dryer come through for me in a new way which even the attachments itself are like a lot it's a major thing so it says a lot but still you know I'm gonna be sure like I've never bought such an expensive blow dryer but this year I am gonna focus on like really taking care of my hair like getting trims more often I was doing it twice a year and in doing it that way, like my ends were so split, they were split really bad. I'm like, I had to get a lot of haircuts. So now I'm gonna do it quarterly. Like, I just wanna see like what I can do for my hair this year. When I look back the next year, or like December of this year, I wanna be able to see the difference from January of 23. Cause I want that bang to hang. 
go ahead and set that like that. Like I love the definition in my hair. Like the pattern products with my Wet Line Extreme, they always go well together. They never flake. The curls are curling and that's what your girl wants. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna diffuse. So I pulled out the hand. It's <laughs> oh shit. I don't know, I think, see, it's the universe is telling me it's time to get a new blow dryer. It's a piece missing right here and this is the only blow dryer that fits the hand. Oh, we're here now, so I'm gonna make this work. It's gonna be a little ghetto. It's gonna be a little ghetto. And I let my hair mostly dry just because, oh, you know what? I'm missing something over there about. So this is the Eva NYC Main Magic. It's a 10 in one primer. So I'm gonna spray that all over my head. It strengthens your hair, heat protection, reduces frizz, detangles, softens, cuts drying time, adds shine. Um, you can smell your hair wet or dry. I'm like somewhere in the middle, but let's go. I'm probably gonna have to hold this. It's gonna be a little ghetto, but we're here now. And I don't feel like going to get my other blow dryer, so this is what we're gonna do. Oh, now it wants to stay. Nope, my. Okay, so it's wet right here. I guess I need to add some more heat there, but. Shrinkage is real. With the foam, even though I put other stuff on there, my hair dried really quick. Like, it was like halfway dry already. So I sat and I watched like a TV show and ate some food and it dried. My hair never dries this fast. It was for sure the foam. As you can tell, my shrinkage is real. It's very real. So it's already bedtime. I would finish fluffing it out and everything, but I might as well do that in the morning because when I go to sleep, it's gonna go right back like this and shrink down to my head. So like, it don't make no sense for me to do it. But I'll be back in the morning and fluff me and finish. Okay, good morning, y'all. Coming up out this TGIN bonnet that I slept in last night. And look at the shrinkage. The shrinkage is real, like for real, for real. I love the way my hair looks. I love the definition. It has a baby cast. So I'm going to take some of my TGIN Miracle Repair Serum. It's like a serum oil. I don't have the pattern one, so this is going to do what it do. But I love this one. It smells so good. I obviously have to stretch my hair. Let me get back into these cute little tools. You know, I just realized that these tools bash my glasses. I'm literally like the definition of a creature of habit. I do like all the same stuff, wear all the same stuff. So I am just going to start from the bottom and just sectioning off what that is. And I'm just gonna grab the pieces that I want and I'm gonna pull them out. I got this oil on my hand, so it shouldn't be like too much. And I'm just gonna spray a little dash of water. I'm a blow dryer and have the pointer nozzle. Um, I only want the heat to go on my roots, so I'm gonna focus it solely on the roots. So I'm gonna continue my whole head. Like y'all know what this looks like. I'll come back when I get to the front. Okay, so I'm back. I have stretched out the back. I don't know if y'all can see the difference, but I definitely have more hang time. All I need to do right now and finish is the, my little bang situation. So now that that's that, shake it out. Fluff it out with my fingers for my tortoise clip. I'm so excited about this because I love my other pick. It does come with the cape. And you know the pick has a little thing right here for your thumb to go in. So it's like grip it, put it right there. And this one too, what's cool about this pick is like if you want to oil your scalp, you can put your oil. Let me see. I'll show you. I got some oil in my hand. Take it and go like this. And you just take it and it hits your roots and that's also another way to get that done but do you see how it just slides and how big this hair is getting and it doesn't really mess up your definition because my shrinkage is real so for me definition is like very important I'm also going to take it and just pull it forward 
and get this out the way. You know you can pick with this one too. Like if you can't find your pick, you can always take this one and just give it a little lift. So to finish my hair, I guess I gotta remove my glasses. I'm gonna take a little bit of water. Some gel. A little bit of edge control. And leave out a little curl. Now I usually just take a bobby pin and let that hang out. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Have more edge control. My bangs is not banging right now, but maybe because it's day one. It's the morning, like I still gotta get ready for work. I'm gonna do this, put my bonnet on, like this. And I'm gonna just let them bangs hang like that for a little bit. So I kept looking at it, trying to figure out what's wrong. And I think I figured out the problem. I don't got enough bang in the front on this side to balance it out. But I feel like that helped already. And yeah, I need to pull some of that forward. I feel like that filled in the space, but also I'm gonna add a little bobby pin because it didn't dry like that, like everything else dried for it. Now I feel like I love it. I got a little bang. It's even, it's giving me the volume that I like, the definition that I like, and I'm not sweated. I wanted to make sure that I had dried it with a blow dryer and stretched it with a blow dryer because next time I do a wash and go, I'm gonna have a pattern blow dryer and I wanna see like if there's a difference. I know that one is designed specifically for curly hair, for hair that may have been previously damaged. So it's like, it's very sensitive to your hair and your needs with heat. But I have to say, I am loving this little wash and go. Like I haven't really loved my wash and goes in a while. So I stopped wearing them. It's giving, I love it. With that said, you guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want more hair content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you tried these products, go ahead and comment below. Make sure that you guys are subscribed. I will be being more consistent this year. I have, I literally like sat down yesterday and I planned out the month. Like your girl's gonna be consistent. I already know what I wanna do. I already got the stuff. So at this point, I have no reason for it not to be done. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.